to my heart, right after this, that you're just a be a passive. Hey everybody, welcome to Overpierced Tomb World again. This is another one of the times that I feel I need to do just a, you know, a spoken video about things I want to talk about again. And this was also uh, another one of those times that I didn't feel able to think of everything that I wanted to say, or probably also how I wanted to say it. So yeah, I, I had to, you know, type up notes again because of um, going from, you know, just writing notes in a notebook to, uh, to typing them in, you know, some app on, you know, on my laptop. Yeah, like, like the words one. Because of the thing though about typing video notes in the words app or, or any other kind of a word or, or, or no app. Yeah, because the hard thing about that is, you know, having to try to go over here with my hands and, or, or even just one hand and try to, you know, be scrolling up or maybe even down if I actually go a little too far when I'm scrolling. That's where um, I start putting my video notes into a, an online teleprompter so that that way I've got, you know, the online teleprompter to, to scroll up my notes for me at a you know, rate that, um, you know, I'm not going to you go know, fast enough, but to where I'm not going to miss anything. Like if I start, you know, feeling like, like I'm starting to forget anything, any, you know, what the next thing is. That I want to say, uh, and then you know, I can. Well, um, this time because of um, having to switch the uh, the wireless microphone receiver to uh, the USB jack on this side of the laptop, because of otherwise it getting in the way of the uh, HDMI, you know, plug of, of the HDMI cord that goes to my TV. Yeah, you know, that's where, where I. I switched the wireless microphone receiver to, to you know, the USB jack on the right side of the laptop. So, and then I had to switch the, the the USB jack to the phone, you know, for the you know internet um, on my phone to the uh, the USB jack on the left side of the laptop, um, you know, so that that way I can you know have the online teleprompter going over the TV screen. So the online teleprompter is just right above my phone. Yeah, I got, I got in a you know a, a Chrome browser, you know, just right above my phone, so that I can see. Yeah, so if I start th feeling like I'm you know, gonna forget the, or, or starting to forget the next thing you know, they want to say is then, you know, I could just look up quick a little and, and see what it is, <laughs> what the next thing is I want to say. I've gone over um, my video notes quite uh, enough times, so hopefully uh, I got everything I want to say uh, also memorized enough to where I don't have to look at my notes on the online teleprompter too much. And but you know, you know, at least they're scrolling up. If I start feeling like I'm starting to you know, forget the next thing. You know, that I want to say, then I can just, you know, quick look up a little. And now um, I'll start, uh, you know, talking about um, the things that, that I want to talk about other than that. Okay. Yesterday, I went to a free laundry thing after two that goes from 1 to 3 p.m. to get my laundry done. It was a thing, uh, a free laundry thing called Lighten Your Load. There's this one uh, cowgirl woman there that I was starting to tell about wishing that last July that Social Security didn't ruin, you know, it for me to, to go off to live in my, my bicycle tourist nomadic lifestyle by um, cutting my, my disability off on me. Then she said stuff like, you should just stay put because of people who worked hard to get you in there. And people only stick their foot out for you only so much. And 
Social Security isn't allowing people to travel around like that anymore. You know, like the van lifers. I was telling her, you know, you know what came to, you know, telling her about wanting to do the, the bicycle tourist and Mac lifestyle. Uh, it, yeah, she says the Social Security is not allowing people to travel around like that anymore because you've got to have a permanent address. And one day, you're just going to fall down and not get back up. Two things I did get to tell her is, is that Social Security still didn't give me my disability money back anyway. And... I found out um, a long enough time ago when I was living in Rice Lake that I had a nomadic streak in me. After hearing a, a black guy named Tim Ward on YouTube say that he chose the nomadic lifestyle because he didn't feel able to have his whole life and his whole world be just all one area. I told her it was after hearing Tim Ward say that on YouTube that I realized why I moved around a good few times in the past. It was you know after hearing you know Tim Ward saying that and remembering how each time that I moved for sure to uh, another town or city that it, it, it was because, you know, I did feel, you know, sick and tired of the same area and the same scene of each area. The thing I also wanted to answer back to that cowgirl woman, and I call her that because I don't know what her name is. I, I don't I don't remember um even anyone saying what, what her name was or her telling me what her name is. But um you know, yeah, the thing I wanted to answer um to her saying about about me falling down one day and not getting back up is that uh, before that happens I want to know that I got a chance to see enough more of this country. Yeah, I don't wanna die knowing that I had to be you know, stuck in Wisconsin all my life. Uh, does everybody remember how on Back to the Future 3, when someone in the old days that Dr. Emmett Brown got accidentally sent to by lightning strike in the glory and you know, saying something about the future and him saying, oh, the future, the future. I can tell you about the future. Well, that's also how I feel about Wisconsin is, oh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. I can tell you about Wisconsin. But having had to be stuck in Wisconsin my whole life. You know, it, to me, it's, it's just you know, getting sickening. Um, you know, the same state, you know, being stuck in the same state all my life, I just kind of feel like you know, I need to get out there also, you know, to other states, you know, other, other towns and cities and, and uh, also in other states. Uh, Social Security don't seem like they're ever gonna give me my disability money back. I think I might pull what I call or long distance bicycle tourist kind of uh, stopped in the rush of Ocean Gate. Where uh, instead of saying, um, I broke a few, a few rules to make this, I think I broke them with uh, logic and good engineering behind me using uh, carbon fiber and titanium there's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. Well, one day, I feel I'm one day soon. I feel I'm just gonna get going on my bike and you know just get going long distance bicycle touring way out there, and 
you know, instead say, I, I broke a few rules to get here. I think I broke them with logic and enough other long distance, distance bicycle touring behind me. Uh, long distance bicycle touring again um, with no money coming in to get, uh, you know, tire flat and stuff fixed. There's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. Yeah, that's although a uh, long distance bicycle touring really isn't um, as much of a rule as, you know, that you don't build, a, you know, a, sub, a deep sea sub of, of carbon fiber and t titanium. It's just more, you know, a, a rule to yourself, you know, that's just really smarter to go by in case of, you know, getting, having a tire flat or, or, or something else break down on a bike while being so far out there in so far a stretch of countryside. Um, that's in that way, the world out there is like my deep sea. Um, that I want to go so deep by by going so far all the way to other states and going that far on my bicycle being like plunging myself so deep in the sea of the world out there. When it comes to that, I think um, maybe it would be good to long distance bicycle tour um, through, you know, the areas of, uh, uh, for viewers that I can think of, like Dark Star or Zero A Three, MC Burger Pants, Carrie Reynolds Seventeen Nineteen, and uh, Mar Kumar. I feel sure enough that um, they help me uh, if I had a flat or some other breakdown while long distance bicycle touring through any of their areas. Well, I'm going to go to the temp job agencies before I really start getting very far and temp job it you know, everywhere. The thing I'll also say about those who work enough to help me get in here is that I really do thank them. Like I said before, I like to know before I do one day fall down and not get back up like that cowgirl woman said as, as in, you know, just drop dead that I got a chance to experience enough more of this country. Yeah, instead of, you know, staying stuck here in Wisconsin. I feel sure that if I can just get the hell going off to doing long distance bicycle touring, that could help me, you know, get more somewhere with getting YouTube monetized, yeah, getting closer to getting YouTube monetized. It would enable me to turn out more videos of, of me, you know, long distance bicycle touring to other towns and cities that have activist events going on, you know, with uh, activist bands and, and, and individual singer musicians performing and then also have a, you know, good video, you know, for all my viewers of my performance, you know, at, you know, the, you know, shows, you know, at those activist events in whatever towns and cities would have, you know, those activist events going on that, that have activist bands and singer, individual singer musicians performing at. Yeah, I'd be able to have good, um, you know, video of me doing my songs at those shows, you know, for, you know, th I'm sure that my viewers here, here on YouTube would like. Yeah, like, um, you know, my, my criminalization of homelessness. Yeah, my, my 36 minute and 58 second one.
uh, 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 my uh, you know, realization of homelessness was that George Bloomer video that got, uh, I forgot for sure how many it was, uh, uh, somewhere enough over 100 views. Yeah, um, on my way to, um, you know, the towns and cities that I, you know, long distance bicycle tour to, you know, to go to those activist, activist events, um, to also get to perform any of my songs at. Uh, I would also make sure to be bringing my hard rock activist thing into it, into my YouTube videos of, you know, why I'm out, also why I'm out there on the road. Um, and I feel that, um, you know, that it's important to do that because, you know, so, so that, um, you know, my videos don't end up being just only a uh, long distance bicycle touring videos because there's enough others, you know, on YouTube that, you know, have already done those, that have already done, uh, you know, videos that, you know, are just only long distance bicycle touring. So I feel that I have to um, bring my my music um, into into mine, you know, so that you know that that's what my long distance bicycle tour tours would you know be be being about. Uh, I I would hope that the shows at activist events that would have you know activist bands and and singer musicians performing. I. I I hope that enough of them would be hard punk rock, like uh, one punk rock band in Eau Claire a long time ago called De Facto Oppression. And um, then also, um, I hope enough would also be punk metal bands um, like, you know, Neurosis. And uh, I feel it would also be good if uh, any of those towns and cities that would have those activist um, events going on um, that I may you know, also get to perform, you know, any songs of mine at the, that I get done. Um, I, I hope would be um, in towns and cities where there's a uh, criminalization of homelessness going on. Um, definitely not because I like, you know, homeless, you know, getting criminalized because I don't. But because I just really love, you know, the you know, homeless in towns and cities like that, seeing and hearing me do, um, you know, activist, you know, rock songs of mine, or for sure, one, even one activist, you know, rock song of mine, you know, standing up for them. Another thing I want to also say about that cowgirl woman saying uh, social security isn't allowing people to to travel around you know anymore like, like the van lifers is is because you know because you have to have a permanent address is that because of it looking and sounding you know true to me out there that um, the corrupt ones in our government are, you know, working at shoving in, the, in the, a new world order down all our throats. That that's, um, you know, a good reason I see to, to not get on social security. With making that a rule that you can't travel around like that anymore, or, you know, can't, you know, can't travel around, you know, like the van lifers, even if it's, you know, the bicycle, long distance bicycle touring way, you know, if you're going to be on their dole to receive their money, is one way that the right to travel around is the first right that they can take away. I'm sure that the right to travel anywhere you want and either live where you want or or just live everywhere if you want is another one of the rights that that count seeing has to be a constitutional right well i'm sure 
that's all, you know, you know, everything that I can think of to say in this video. So, goodbye everybody, uh, see you on the next one. Both the sun is picking up, I get toast, the energy is all of which make it get pissed.